What's up champions? Welcome back to Game Dev with AI. Mike here. It's a place, it's a challenge, it's an experiment, whatever you want to call it, where I'm trying to create the first indie real-time strategy game called Nuke Them All with the help of tools of AI without any programming skills whatsoever. We are progressing very nicely in our game. We, are, we have added a lot of cool stuff over the last few weeks and I'm very excited to share my progress with you. I already have now the vehicle factories, which have three levels of upgrades, the robot factories, and even the tank factories. A lot of new units as well have been added to our game. But this specific video, let's devote to the several um, things such as saving the game, loading the game, and creating user interface such as main menu and the pause menu. Are you ready? Let's get to it. As you know from my past videos, I usually use help from ChatGPT to guide me through the process and we are making our game in the engine called Construct3. This, en this engine is very powerful and helps you create simple 2D games and has a lot of built-in features and very good for visual programming for people like me who don't know any programming language but can code using the visual interface. However, some things, for example, like saving, loading or main menu, they require much higher technical skills than what I have and what I can get from ChatGPT. If you saw one of my previous videos, I was complaining about ChatGPT having very limited knowledge of Construct3. He constantly gives me incorrect ideas. He keeps creating expressions, features, and the functions that don't really exist. So for this reason, this is next to impossible at this stage to develop saving, loading game, and main menu with the help of only ChatGPT. So as exception here, we are gonna be outsourcing this part to the real human programmer who is an expert in Construct3 and who already knows this. And this time I was searching on Fiverr for Construct3 developers and there are a lot of great guys here and I selected the guy called Haliet. He is extremely knowledgeable, very cool guy, very helpful. So if you're looking for Construct3 developers, definitely reach this kind of guys and they are very very helpful in helping you. So for example developing the menu would take me maybe weeks or maybe months doing this on myself but this kind of thing you can really outsource because they are not really related to the main code of your game. They can be done separately in a separate layout without messing up with the main structure of your game. So it's very easy to develop them in a separate project and then you can just copy and insert it into your project as a separate layout, as a se separate sheet and then it combines all together nicely. I think this is the key if you want to finish your game to get uh, outside help and there's nothing wrong with it. If, if ChatGPT can help you, so can the real humans as well. Plus you support the guys, you, you pay them uh, the payment and then they help you develop certain things that just outside of the scope of your knowledge. So this is very helpful if you are frustrated, if you feel like you can never finish then just get outside help. The, the guy can do certain task that is not related to the main game but which is very important like user interface. You cannot release the game without an interface. Anyway, enough about this, let's get to some details. We have a loader. Loader is a new layout, which will be a loading screen. And during the loading screen, we have all our variables loaded. Let's see the spreadsheet. In our game, all the levels last very short time, like six minutes or maybe 10 minutes. So we don't really need to save it during the game. It's not some sort of hours and hours of gameplay where you have to save every step. Instead, we'll be only saving the progress between levels. So we'll, we'll need to save the scores. We'll need to save what levels the player already played and unlocked. Things like this. What the current level is. 
This way, if we, he goes again to the game, he doesn't need to start all over again, obviously. So these things will gonna save. So in our loader layout, we'll have global new variables such as the next level, which indicates the next available level to play. And then we get the score for all our 10 levels and the selected level and the score. And you can see this code is pretty quick and it's very repetitive. So I will not be reading it obviously in real time, not to waste your time. So I'll just quickly scroll it down. You can pause it and learn it if you want. It works really well. It's quite simple, but you have to know the things. Otherwise it's very hard to develop. So you can see on the start of layout, we use local storage and we trying to check if in our local storage, we have those variables, if they exist or not. And if they exist, we want uh, to load them basically, and then we get them in the memory. This way the game operates. It's quite a simple concept as you can see. But you have to know these things like once again, it's really hard to get these things done if you have no idea what you're doing. And obviously the saving will be done automatically. The player doesn't need to click save something because the progress will be saved automatically between the levels. And that's how the saving and loading is done. Pretty simple stuff, but again, you have to know this. Then we'll, we'll have pause menu, which will be appearing on the backspace when you play in the game, you hit the pause. Here you can see again the code, feel free to pause and see. And then uh, we create a box basically, and uh, we'll have different settings. The person will be able to re resume the game, click help, go to main menu, go to exit, and also he will be able to uh, increase and reduce the level, the sound, the volume and the music volume. And there you have it. And of course exit game as well. So this will be our pause menu. Here we set different animation frames and that's pretty much it. And let's run it real quick and I'll show you how it works. So here we go. So we play the game. And when it's time, we hit the pause menu. And you see the game completely stopped on the music plays. And we can resume, help, main menu, exit game. And you can reduce sound level or music. And it should automatically save it. If I put no music. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, you see the sound reduced. So I need to iron out the music level. But you can see it works pretty well. So there you have it. And finally, we need few more elements like a main menu and also uh, the map selector level. Le uh, so main menu will be like nuke and then here will be settings and play and once you click it we'll be going to the main menu which is a selector of the levels first i created it in photoshop myself as always using the tools of ai like mid journey and this is how it will gonna look so for starters we'll have six levels for example later there will be like more levels obviously in the game here we'll be able to choose the difficulty you will be able to see the stars from one to three how you completed the level and if it's grayed out it means you didn't unlock this level yet then i i got Halyat helps to incorporate this into construct as you can see he created all the elements separately as different sprites and I'll quickly show you the code again. Feel free to pause. You will be choosing the difficulty and then on the start of layout, he will be drawing out all the elements and he's uh, attaching them to different image points of the background. So if I double click on the background, this one, 
let's move this little bit and this was this one so you can see different image points image points will indicate where all the elements will be appearing here the title the button etc etc and this overlay just makes it red if you're selecting the difficult mayhem level of difficulty so here we have the banners and here we have uh, the levels yeah this will be a preview of different levels that we got now let's again double check the code i will scroll it quickly for each level we keep repeating the same process once again and there you have it then we have a switcher which is changing the difficulty then we have map previews here all right here we have the code of the stars this is what will happen of on left click and finally we'll have settings button that will get us to the settings menu so you see this code is quite long and it's quite difficult to do it if you don't know what you're doing so it's very good to outsource things like this that are outside of the scope of your knowledge to people who are already developing a lot of games so for them it's very easy to just have the same concept for your game instead of for you developing things like this from scratch in my opinion this menus are very standardized so in most of the games it's more or less the same so there is no point for you to be doing this from scratch it's not really requiring creativity it requires the exact knowledge of what you're doing for this reason outsourcing i think is the best choice so finally we'll see how it works as you can see we can click choose the difficulty here and on the level that is unlocked we can click and it will start loading after it all loads you'll get straight to the game there you have it guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed our progress and find something helpful so let me know in the comments below what we should develop next and what you think of our game so far and if you're watching it many years later i hope so it's if it's already available on steam make sure to go and get the game and support our development that's all for today. Take care and cheers. Bye. A nuclear silo is captured. Awaiting orders. Sir. Consider done. I'm unstoppable. Need energy drink. I'm unstoppable. I'm in a break. Let's nuke them all. Ready for action, sir. Let's nuke them all. Construction complete. Post it. Awaiting orders, Finish sir. Him. Okay, fine. We require more vests Unit ready. Not out. Not out. action, sir. Orders received. Black security. Let's nuke them all. Get, Get over, over here. here.
Mission accomplished. Construction complete. 